Where I got lost. I don't know that. <laughs> and I was right around the corner, but I didn't know Hi. where Wyndham Street was. Yeah. So we're going to learn how to paint winter scenes and winter trees. And so here's our inspiration. We looked at a couple of photos here. Um, and we like this sort of pink glow in these soft trees. Um, and we also like learning how to put snow on the boughs. And what we noticed here is that the white isn't really white. So that um, if you wanted pure white snow, let's say it was during the day, bright, sunny, cloud, um, no clouds in the sky, really bright, then yeah, we would mask that off the white page before we start painting. In this kind of scene where it's a little more muted light, the whites aren't really pure white. So we're gonna start with a wash on the page first, and then we'll do some masking off. Okay, so in this picture, I have this warm glow, and the snow is slightly creamy looking, and there's this peachy glow, right? Um, in this picture, it's sort of a soft blue violet, right? So you don't want to mix up that color. It's going to be water and a little bit of paint, <laughs> right, to get that color. So. What pigments might give us this kind of tint, do you think? Phthalo? No, phthalo would be way too, too intense. Dark. So you could, there's a little bit of blue and a little bit of violet in there and a lot of water, right? So you could try a little bit of indigo and a little bit of uh, doxazine violet. That could work. So I could mix those two and water them down. But if I want to give it a, a more beautiful color, because it indigo is kind of blah. Right. I might want to use maybe some cerulean blue just a bit to it. make it a little prettier. So what we could try with that is what if I take a little bit of my cerulean blue and a little bit of violet, a lot more violet. And then lots of water. So that's the violet and cerulean without yeah. indigo. Does that have indigo in it yet? This one? No, no indigo. It's cerulean and hmm. I cut it dark really fast. Ooh. It's kind of close. Yeah, it's close. Yeah, it's nice. And slightly prettier than what's there. So that kind of works. Mm -hmm. Um, so that might work. You could do that. So with a painting like this, you're going to want to pre-palette and pre-mix your colors. So in this kind of case, of this kind of painting, using the cake tray might be a little bit more difficult. That's really great when you want to paint really quick and here's this color and I go and that color and kind of brush strokey stuff. Or you can use a spritzer bottle, right, and spritz your, your paint tray so that they're nice and wet and ready to go and then mix in the tray beside it because yes. you've got a cake or a pan set, right? We've mixed up all the colors for the class today so that you can just use in your other paint tray what we've mixed. I like to do that in workshops because it saves time. Paint too, so <laughs> we've got here Oriole in yellow that's been watered down, uh, Permanent Rose that's been watered down. This is uh, Cerulean Blue with a bit of phthalo. That's Indigo Blue, and that's Dioxazine Violet right there. Um, but we need to palette these colors a little bit to get exactly what we want. So this yellow is maybe too pure to use as it is. Uh, so maybe, because we get these very soft, creamy looks. I don't want a pure yellow. So a way to kind of calm down my yellow is just to add the tiniest bit of violet to it. Not to make it go ochre. Just to make oxygen. You know what? I think we got too much, not enough yellow in that. Mm -hmm. um, Where is that? It's over on the table, I think. Did I bring it back? Oh no, it's here. I got it. I thought we left it on the table, but we didn't. So we can just add a tiny bit more. So we don't want it to be screaming yellow. We just want this creamy hint of color, right? So we got a little bit of yellow and a little bit of violet.
And I'd like to neutralize it a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit of the rose to it. I'm going to try that. That's kind of nice. So I'm after this kind of color here, because I'm going to layer the pink on top after, OK? And so so you're going to, if you want to keep with this kind of look of the blue, Cynthia, then you're going to do just a wash in the light blue. I was blue. just thinking, though, if I have the pink up here, it would probably be reflected in the snow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it would. Maybe I'll do that. OK. So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to do, and there's going to be several steps to this. And then this is what's nice about taking a workshop is, you know, it's not just what can I learn in a few hours. You got a whole day where we can do a painting. And how would I do that painting step by step? And how do I get those subtle, like what? So here I'm going to do my background in yellow first. Um, then I'm going to do a wash that's more bluish, like this sort of aqua color. Um, then I'm going to do some masking off. Then I'm going to do this background. 